one of the things that we assess is critical thinking skills. Learning at this level is going to require much more than just memorization. We expect you to analyze and consider the material to develop a strong understanding of the concepts to be able to apply these to problems, tests, assignments, and projects. For example, in written assignments, professors are looking for much more than just a repeat of what the experts have said. They're looking for evidence of your thinking and your developing understanding about the concepts. I'd like to give you an example of an assignment that students have come to me in tutoring services because I act as the faculty advisor for tutoring services with a lot of questions. And it's actually in one of our business courses. This is a paper that asks a student to decide between two different ways we can develop trade or have trade between countries. So the two choices are free trade or protectionism. And I have students come into my office and say, Irene, which one should I pick? And I tell them, it doesn't matter. And they're like, no, no, no. Which one does my professor think is right? And I'm like, it doesn't matter. That's not the point of the assignment. We are going to ask you to compare and contrast. So by comparing and contrasting free trade and protectionism, you are in fact going to learn both concepts. But you're also going to learn how to defend one side over the other. How to bring in other information that you get through your research to defend the choice that you have made. Choosing one or the other doesn't matter. It's the process of writing that paper that is the critical thinking learning opportunity that's before you, which is also going to reinforce the course concepts of free trade and protectionism.